Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the month of March. Um, I will be divining through smoke here. This is also known as capnomancy or lebonomancy and originates from ancient Babylonia. Okay, please bear in mind these are general readings so it may not resonate for everybody. So please take what does and leave what doesn't. I'll be pulling out some cards as well towards the end and some oracle cards as well. All right, Aquarius. Okay. Mm. Aquarius, I see you've been holding on to something. But like very strongly with passion. So you feel like you know, you know what the case is. You know that you feel like other people may not understand why you're holding on to this for so long. Maybe it could be a love that you haven't wanted to let go of, some something that's caused you to, you know, kind of not feel ever ready to let go of this. But I see this changing. I feel here you're coming to a realization. Something or someone is going to come in and help you uh, really open your eyes in a big way here. Something is evolving. And with this, I see like a, a new, a renewed sense of, of um, an understanding of yourself, of where you are. And I see you releasing a lot of things in your past. There's a release here. There's a release that... I think for so long you felt like it was too scary to release, but I think you're going to understand and realize it really is going to make you feel so much better. It's really not as hard as you um, imagined or thought it would be. It's interesting because for the month of March, for so many of the signs, it seems to be the theme also. And it's a very good month to start releasing things. It's, you know, spring coming in you know, uh, being open to the new. And I see that's happening for you as well. I see you designing a lot of things. For some of you out there, if you're a designer, interior design or something. But also for the rest of you, I see you starting to really design your life. I see you kind of like, you know, maybe you're decorating your house, uh, something to do with that. You're like wanting to, once you have this release, you're wanting to really kind of change almost everything. Appearance, even the, your your self-appearance, your home appearance, everything you're changing, you know. Um, and with that, you're like, okay, well, now I'm going to actually design my life. It's like you're going to write it out. This is what I want and so forth. You know, your ability to manifest has always been strong. However, it may have been a little bit chaotic at times because of something that you've held on to but it's it's like a great opening is starting to happen as well and you don't lose whatever you're going to release by the way just because if you have held on to it for so long doesn't mean that it will be lost that makes sense for some of you you know you're holding on to good memories you're releasing the bad, basically. But I do see someone coming in for you as well in terms of uh, relationship. It's like you're discussing things that you want. There's an openness here. And there's a compromise as well. So if you're willing, it just depends on what you're willing to compromise in the other person's willing to compromise if you can work well together. I do see a really nice harmony in this relationship, though. Like, it doesn't have to be too much work either, you know? There is a change here in the home. I don't know if it's um, not necessarily moving home. It could be that. But there is change in terms of your environment, Aquarius, as well. And there's like an operation happening. It's like you're really, you know, putting on your boots and 
everything, your overalls, and <laughs> it's like, that, that's like the metaphor for your life, you're like, yeah, kind of, you're not wanting to go back to any old patterns or old ways, there's something that you're kind of really revigorating here, you're taking action, there's a lot of action taking here as well, you, your talents, your skills, you may have felt a little bit doubtful about about your skills and no way because everybody around you absolutely loves what you can do there's talents that you have and everybody actually appreciates it but this is going to be you know shown to you you're going to realize you know like hell no i'm not stopping i'm not stopping you're going to do what you love and that that kind of you know raises your spirit even higher you know you can hear your calling and it's like here, no matter what, you're just going to do it. But focus to harness this energy. Don't allow everything to be all over the place, which, which you're not. You know, there's something that's going to be broken down for you as well. Something that needs to be kind of hashed out as well in order for a situation to be resolved, which is good. I see a lot of paperwork as well for some of you. Uh, getting all of that done. But yeah, it's really positive, Aquarius. I'm, uh, I'm loving this for you. Okay, let's see what the cards have. The Hermit. The Lovers. Mm. And the Knight of Cups. So you are here looking within you. You know you have something still alive. You know, take ready. You, you, there's something that you're about to know that it's time to take action. But things that need to be released first. And here we have the lover's card here. You know, it's... it's. I sense here, you know, something is going to be called in for questioning. For, for you know, questioning a lot of things. And before you can sort of come to, as I was saying, some agreement, some compromise here, some, you know, feeling like there's an equality, which is important, you know, but I see um, love is strong. It's your strength also that pulls you through. It's your own self-love as well. And with the Knight of Cups, there is someone that's going to appear for you. There's an offer. There's an offer, again, you know, someone is seeing... Uh, a potential of yours in terms of uh, work and in terms of love there is someone that I think you're going to be very surprised about something uh, someone's going to be very surprised um, you know by this action that's going to be taken in front of you nine of cups and the five of swords interesting I think Libra got the same position here but the nine of cups you know you're you're going to be on on a, on kind of like on the higher level here you're having an upper hand on something but you're feeling very satisfied with a compliment a co accomplishments that's coming in you know there is a wish fulfillment here um and you're be careful of um revealing too much to some people because they may be a little bit jealous so keep those things to yourself but i think you're gonna have like a heads up date from somebody um and it's too many cards and you're gonna um understand exactly how to go about what you need to do you know you're not going to take things lying down either i see you're just going to keep going at it nothing's going to stop you i don't see anything holding you back oh look we have the seven of wands as i was saying Needing to take defense, perhaps, but keep going. It's like you, you, you found your mission, and you're gonna just keep going. And here we have the Queen of Pentacles, because from this, from these things that you need to, you know, you, you're overcoming. You can go through over any obstacle. You're stronger than a lot of people um, around you. You're stronger than people realize or recognize but that's what's going to shock them as well when you get here to the queen of pentacles when you get to this um place of feeling like you have the authority you know you're given that promotion you're given that kind of key to your success here with this you know it brings you great um strength and stability 
that leads to many other um, things that you can now do in your life because I think money is going to increase as well. I do see, I feel like there's going to be a key that you've been given that you can now unlock the door to, um, to, the, to the path that you've been going on, that you've been searching, that you've been needing a bit more light. And I see that light coming in as well. But definitely a big wish fulfillment is coming in. Have the Spirit Animal Oracle card here. Let's see which one is for you. Puffin. Hmm, some other sign got Puffin as well. Puffin. Partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. And I hope that um, you made a connection with that and that resonated. But definitely accept yourself. Believe in yourself. This confidence. See, you get to that place here with the Queen of Pentacles. When you see things starting to break through and you get those answers, you get, you find, you know, your, what it is that means a lot to you, your truth, your passion, your talents. This is absolute confirmation. I love this for you, Aquarius. I hope it helped and I hope it, it gave you some guidance as well. If you like the reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Very much look forward to the next one. Thank you all so much for your support. Until next time.